Hello there people of the internet. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing alright. Thanks for asking. So today I've got some new equipment that I'm going to be trying out. I thought it'd be fun if I went ahead and I made a uh, full-on video on it. So right now I do have a new microphone, a windproof microphone on my camera. So that is automatically a major step up. I'll be able to actually make my uh, recordings uh, without having to wait, you know, five plus minutes at a time while I uh, wait for the wind to die down. Uh, where I'm currently at, you're going to be seeing that here in a second, but where I'm currently at, it gets very windy here. Uh, it's just an open plain, nothing in either direction uh, other than trees for quite a while, and you would think that the trees would stop the wind, but no. They, they stop it if like you're right up on it. Like right here, we normally don't have wind coming through this direction, but the other way, we have a lot of wind coming through that direction. I hope that this microphone uh, is working. Uh, I did try it a couple of times. It seems to work, but I did have one instance where it did not work. So, fingers crossed, hopefully this doesn't just turn out to be a silent episode. If it does, then, oh well, I'll try it again. Okay, so today, well, I, I, I had this stuff uh, in the mail not too long ago, but this is the first time that I, you know, finished getting everything. I ordered stuff from different retailers, different manufacturers, and they came at different times. Uh, today, I officially have everything, so I'm going to go ahead and do a couple of viewer requests. One thing I do not have is a second camera. I'm looking into getting that, but that's a lot more expensive than the equipment that I picked up. So, for right now, I'm just going to use my phone as a second camera. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I do have, uh, I've used this before, but now I'm showing it off. I do have a camera stand, nothing special, generic. I picked it up for like $15 off of Amazon. It's a six foot camera stand. Uh, I'm gonna try and balance my phone camera on it and stick it downrange because I've gotten several requests for downrange cameras. As a matter of fact, I just recently got one. Uh, several requests for downrange cameras so people can see up close and personal the round striking the steel uh, Especially if I'm standing far away, so that'll be a big plus And I've got one of these little GoPro headsets because I've gotten several requests ever since you know people figured out that I'm using a GoPro for this I've gotten several requests for uh, POV shots <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and run through some of those today as well this is a good test here's some wind I I can't tell how the audio is gonna turn out right now but during editing I'll know if this wind right here uh, was horridly annoying I think it's gonna start raining guys it is kinda dark out here so I wouldn't be surprised if it started raining if it does start to rain I don't know, it depends on how hard it starts to rain. If it does start to rain, I guess I'll have to move in for a little while because my GoPro is not waterproof and it's my only camera. So first thing, I'm gonna throw on this headset and uh, we're gonna do some POV stuff. All right, so the rain did start. <laughs> so now I'm taking cover from the rain for a little while. So we'll get back into that. It doesn't look like it's raining out there, but it's misting. It's misting pretty good. So, we're playing the waiting game. It shouldn't take too long to pass. Hi, dog. Hi there. How are you? You're a cute little bastard, you know that? Hi, cat. You're also a cute little bastard. You know that? Yes, hello. Okay, I think the misting has stopped, so we're gonna grab the ammunition. Yes, hello cat. How are you? I know you want attention, but that's too bad. I got stuff to do. I'm sorry dog. I didn't mean to spook you. It's okay. Okay. Let's make our way back to the gun range, which is in this direction. Hey look, a bird. I'm not sure how well that's showing up on camera, but hey look, a bird. Man, this uh, headset is really convenient. I don't have to worry about uh, holding the camera. I can just kind of go. Alright, we are doing a quick check just to make sure there's no Kevins around here. Last thing I want is to shoot one. Yep, we're good. Alright, let's head over to the tree. Here's the car. Go ahead and check it out. 
in first person perspective. <laughs> yeah, that's the car, all right. That's a silhouette. It's got some cracking on it. I expect it's going to break eventually. Probably pretty soon. Let's see if we can break it in this episode. Right here is the piece of wood that I normally set the camera on, so I'll probably still use that just because it's so convenient. But if I ever need the camera stand, I have the camera stand. Actually, the camera stand's gonna be out there for the most part, so you guys can see close-ups on the bullets. There's my shooting chair. Hi, shooting chair. I typically use it to hold my guns and ammo. Okay, let me go ahead and put my ears on. I keep my ears around my ankles. Uh, yeah. All right, I could still wear these while wearing the headset. Certainly hoping <laughs> that the camera angle on this is good and I'm not just wasting my time and ammunition off of nothing. All right, well, we're just going to assume that Kevin is off somewhere else. I'm sure we'll find him whenever we start shooting because we're going to start hearing him scream. <laughs> okay, let's open fire. Well, that was fun. Oh, there's Kevin. I hear one over there. Okay, well, we're gonna see how cool that looked on perspective. I will uh, go ahead and look at that while editing. Hey, me while editing, how did that look? All right, nice. Wow, look at the smoke out there. Man, that's awesome. Now this stuff I'm firing is remanufactured ammunition. Pretty popular eight millimeter Mauser ammo just because of how cheap it is. They say it's non-corrosive, but it's corrosive. Go ahead and uh, clean your rifle after you're done using it. All right, another five rounds. Let's send him down range. What if I can go for a headshot here? Nope, that was me. I pulled that too low. Aha, headshot. <laughs> is it raining again? No, it's not raining. Yeah, it is kind of misting out. All right, cool. I'll have to keep an eye on that. Well, there's our headshot. Nice. All right, so I have my phone camera out there, very carefully balanced on the camera stand because that camera stand is for the GoPro and not my phone camera. I have no idea how I'm gonna put that footage up. I'm probably just gonna like throw it in the corner, maybe like right here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> so hopefully, is that Kevin again? Hopefully my camera isn't violently destroyed by uh, bullet spalling. I think I got it at a pretty decent angle and position to where it won't be, but if we see it fly apart in that direction, then we know that it got pretty violently hit by a, a steel core round that bounced off a steel target. All right, well, I'm gonna light it up. Thank you, Kevin. Ah, got that headshot. Let's do it again. Hell yeah. All right, that was more of a center mass shot, but hey, whatever. Okay, well, this is all the eight millimeter mouse ammunition I brought out here with me but I think it served our purpose. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, hop on the video editor right after this, and we're gonna see how it turned out. So, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I got some new equipment, I'm very happy about it. Uh, if you like this kind of stuff, go ahead and subscribe down below. I got a lot of really good ideas that I'm gonna be doing with this equipment. Uh, the beauty about GoPros is they are also waterproof. Way back in the day, uh, I'm sure that nobody has gone back to look at my older stuff, but I used to do a lot of spring hopping. Uh, and while I would spring hop, I would, you know, explore the springs with my GoPro here. I can't find my waterproof case, so I have no idea where it is. Oh well, not really a big loss, I'll just order a new one. But I 
well, I already ordered a new one. Uh, it's on its way. Once it gets here, I'm going to be doing more spring hopping, river exploration, things like that. So I think that's going to make a great addition to this channel. So if you want to be a part of that, by all means, do me a favor, subscribe. If you like this video, go ahead and like this video. Uh, I do have a second YouTube channel that I have just in case something happens to this one. YouTube's very anti-gun and they can just decide to take away everything that everybody has worked for just like that because they said so. No reason, you know, they don't even have to give a reason. They could just say, hey, this violates our terms of service. And you're like, what term of service? And they're like, our fucking feelings, okay? Get the hell out of here. We don't want you here. <laughs> Ugh, I'm trying, I'm trying not to get angry by staying happy, but I'm getting angry. It is very hot and humid out here. Uh, and the light misting is not helping. Oh yeah, I gotta go turn off my phone camera. I'll be right back. All right, well, that was fun. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't fun, but it was just kind of a test run. I'm gonna see uh, how well this stuff comes up in the editing process. If the angle was too bad, then I'm gonna go ahead and not use it. Uh, if, if I can't manage to get the uh, other screen up, then I'm gonna go ahead and not use it. Uh, if I had another camera or something, I'd be able to get the other screen up, no problem, but my phone's kind of, uh, iffy, so stay tuned for that. We'll see what happens on, uh, that notion. Go ahead and check out the Patreon page, too. I do Q&As on the Patreon page. As a matter of fact, I'm due for a new one, so I'm probably going to be doing that pretty soon, because I got a whole bundle of questions. I'm very happy to see that people are starting to ask questions, so... I'm just gonna go edit this video. That's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. So you guys go off, have yourself a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Check out some of my older stuff. I'm gonna I'm gonna start saying that because there's a lot of really cool stuff I've done on this channel that nobody has seen. Like I blew up a computer with Tannerite and like it's got no views. I blew up some shoes with Tannerite. It's got like two views, but it was an awesome ass time. I blew up this car. That was fun. That's well, I've, bl I've blown up this car on several occasions, but uh, one time I used like I don't know five pounds of Tannerite. The neighbors got upset, <laughs> but it was an awesome ass video. That was back whenever it still had glass in it and whatnot. So that was that was a pretty awesome time. You know, go hunt that video down. I guess I got a video of uh, me and my father shooting up an old grill. I think it's the grill that's currently sitting on the hood of the car. So it used to be in much better shape. <laughs> I got a video of uh, me doing some scalloping down in the Gulf of Mexico. That was a good ass time. I got a lot of really good old videos and uh, I highly recommend that you guys go check them out because like there's a whole archive of stuff that has no views. So <laughs> go have a look. All right, well, I am going to actually I know I'm going to edit this, but I'm hungry, so I'm probably going to get something to eat as well. And I'm waiting for a phone call because I have myself a new toy coming to my gun shop. We got some wind coming through and everything about my previous experience is telling me to stop talking until the wind passes. But I don't have to do that with this microphone. So, hooray. What time is it? Oh yeah, it's, uh, I got plenty of time. I hope that my new toy comes in soon. So I'll be making another video on that if you want to see that. Subscribe down below. If there's a bell icon, I have no idea how that works, but if there's a bell icon, hit that bell icon and you'll see it whenever it comes out. All right, well, you guys go off, have a fantastic day. The hell is that? Oh, it's my side by side. I can't see at a distance and that's a distance right there. I saw my side by side behind the tree over there and I thought it was a vehicle, but I mean, I guess it kind of is, but it's my side by side. All right. I promise I'm done rambling now. You guys have a fantastic day.
since I've done this. Bonnie and Clyde be damned. <laughs> Poor man's Garen. <laughs> it's a shame that bolt-action shotguns aren't uh, more mainstream. 